friends. Today I'm going to do a quick little autumn craft using this cute little rattan pumpkin that I found locally. And uh, it's cute as it is, but I thought eh, maybe I'll try painting it and see how it comes out. So follow along and I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to be using three different colors of Miss Mustard Seeds milk paint. The first one is Luckett's Green. That's how it looks before it's mixed with water. This is a nice rich brown called Curio. And this is one of my newest colors, Tangerine. These are all available in my shop, by the way both locally and online. One of the nice things about milk paint is that because it comes in a powdered form, you can adjust the thickness however you want. And for this project, because um, I don't really want the paint to soak in, I kind of want it to stay on the surface and let a little bit of the rattan show, I'm going to mix it up a little thicker than I normally would. Usually you mix it with a one-to-one -one ratio. And um, so I'm gonna back off on the water a little bit and have it just a little bit thicker so that it stays right on the surface. By the way, these little packets here, they each hold two tablespoons of dry paint. And if you mix that with a one-to-one -one ratio, it would cover about 10 square feet. Okay, so the first two, the green and the brown, I have about a tablespoon of paint in there. The orange I'm going to need more of so I've got two tablespoons in there so I am going to take some water again I'm backing it off a little bit and put that in there same thing for the brown and then I need to do that same thing, but twice. Yeah, it's really hard <laughs> to do this and, and hold the phone too. <laughs> so forgive my amateur camera work. There we go. And I am going to start mixing these up, but I'm gonna set the camera down and mix them because I don't wanna spill it. So there we have it, all mixed up. Aren't those colors pretty? I figured the last thing you want to do is watch me stir paint. That's probably almost as much fun as watching paint dry. But we're ready to paint. Got to just... Okay, I'm going to start with the brown. And I'm just doing the lines in between the, the lobes of the pumpkin. And maybe a little bit on the top too, around the stem. So you can see I'm letting some of the original rattan color show through. So just accentuating the, the shape a little bit. that dry for a little bit. Milk paint dries really fast so back in a few minutes. Okay and we're back. Now I'm gonna put on the orange paint and again I'm, I don't want to cover the whole thing. I want to let the rattan show. I'm even coming into where I did the brown so it's not like a, a line.
turn it over and get some on the bottom. What do you think? It's not real even that's okay some areas I just went a little heavier on the paint than others I can go back and either take a little sandpaper and sand some off or maybe add a little more here and there okay time to add a little bit of green on this stem And then I have this little leaf that's kind of a, it, it's looking green as I'm looking at the camera, but in real life it's a tan color. So I think I'm going to put some green on that as well. And I might even, I don't know if I'm talented enough to do it, but I might go back and add a little orange to it like it's just starting to turn color a little bit. There we go. I'm not trying to color cover it all, just most of it. All right, we'll let that dry a little bit, add a little orange, and I think that'll be it. And so there we have it, all done. All the products I used are available at freshcoatfinishes.com. Thanks for watching.